Today I'm heading to Indianapolis to visit my friend Matt, who happens to be a self-described history nerd. We're going in the back door. The shop is closed today. And if you enjoy coin shop videos, history, numismatics, be sure to subscribe if you're not currently a subscriber. And if you appreciate the effort, hit that like button. All right, hey, fellas. Yeah. Uh, Matt, yes, Jack, sir. what in the world do you have there in that case there? So this is a new product that we've been working on for about a month now. They're uh -huh. called history bags. So when we, when I was a kid, I used to like to collect anything that was neat yeah. and cool uh -huh. and had a historic element to it. So I thought, you know what? Why not make these cool, affordable packs mm -hmm. that have really fun, cool, interesting things in them? Okay. And then we can sell them. Yeah. And that's what we did. We've been, I spent a lot of time recently f acquiring things that have really cool um, history to them, stories, uh, you know, with the proper provenance, of course, because I'm not going to be selling things. I don't know what they are. Sure. Uh, but we have put some really awesome stuff in here. So I thought, yeah, let's have a little pack battle. Each of us will open one of these. I like that idea. And we'll see what we get. And then your, your, subscriber or watchers uh -huh. can decide who wins ah that sounds really cool kind of like the hundred dollar coin shop challenge yeah. although it's a mystery it's as a to mystery what's there's about bag. i think right now we have about 20 different things uh -huh. that are throughout all the bags so we might have some to duplicate here but uh -huh. there's some really really awesome stuff in these now the concept i've seen guys selling bags of pay dirt online right where you get it home you have no idea you sift through it and maybe you get your money's back in gold, maybe less, maybe more. And then the coin companies got on board right. with the mystery pack. And uh, what company was that again? There's, they had the vault box. Vault the first box. One, right. Okay, that was this like is, all the rage a couple of years ago, a year and a half ago or so. I wanted these to be a little bit different. Yeah. I wanted, no matter what you got, I wanted you to be able to say, you know what? That is pretty cool, and okay. I feel like I got my money's worth. I like that because I've seen those vault box openings. We right. Have, I think you've done some yourself. Yeah. Okay, and so about every ten times, somebody will get something really cool that right. is kind of jaw-dropping, but nine out of ten times, it's a wah, wah, wah. And I wanted none of that. Yeah, no sad trombone no here. No sad trombone here. That's right. <laughs> so I figured you, old Jack here and I, We'll each pick one of these wonderful, awesome bags and open it and see some of the cool stuff that you guys can get if people happen to go and buy them. All right, should we start with the youth move, movement? Move it. Uh, Jack pick, and pick, young man. Knock yourself out. Okay. okay. Pick so, a good one. And so I, I have got it from good authority that some of these are a little heavier than others, but There's that doesn't also, necessarily mean value. It's not like the heavier ones are worth more right. or more. That's your choice? Yes. Okay. That is my choice. Okay. Let me Here. Uh, move the camera there. All right, let me take a quick look at this. And are, these are actually sealed. They're sealed, yeah. Okay. We sealed them up. You can't you can't switch them out. There is no... Okay. They are heat sealed product. Okay, are they numbered or... Had, no. Okay, you're just like... I didn't want any way for anybody to be able to tell. We've segregated the process, too. That whereas, makes sense. Whereas uh, certain people here in the office are packing them, other people are sealing them, and ah. then a third person will ship them. So nobody has any idea okay. as to what's going to be good or not in any of these. What's the retail on these? 50 bucks. Okay, 50 bucks, man. You yep. can't, can't go wrong. $50, take a little chance, see what yeah. you get. All right. And maybe learn something along the way. And like I said, I've included some really neat things that you wouldn't think you're going to get in a package like this. Okay. So I've been, I've been lucky to be able to source some really fun stuff. All righty. Okay. Let's see what you got there. All right. Now the suspense is killing me. Here. I know. <laughs> so. All right. Okay. So, so pull out your cards one at a time. Here. Okay. Each of them has three different pieces in it. Okay. The first one is Russian wire money. Russian wire money? Yep. Yeah. So that's uh, money that was made from the 1700s, or maybe even the 1500s, all the yeah, way up 1360 through the 1860s. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Uh -huh. Up through the 1700s, and they would take a little piece of wire, and they would uh, make coinage out of it. So each card like comes with uh, information on the back about the item. So not only do you get the item, but you get a history lesson, which I'm sure you guys appreciate. I've never heard of anything that, like this in my entire life. Yeah. All right. 
explain this a little bit more. So, so basically, they, they, they called they, it wire money because... Homemade before, money? Kind of, because before it was struck, it was extruded as a piece of wire, and then they would cut that wire and strike it like a coin, like a blank, and it oh. came out very odd-shaped, uh-huh. um, like like it is. And From their mint, or were people yeah, doing this Yeah, that's official their, currency. Get out of town. Yeah. I've never heard of such a thing in my entire life. Well, we're off to a good start there. So we got Russian wire money. Number Next two. Next is a piece of a SpaceX Starship. Get out of town. Yeah. Man. Okay, you've got history from perhaps as early as the 1300s. Then you've got history uh, from modern times. Yep, so that is a piece of the heat tile from the very first Starship that was launched on top of Super Heavy about a year ago. Okay. Uh, It failed about 18 miles up in the air and exploded and fell all back to the ocean. But at the time, it was the largest rocket ever fired off, even bigger than the Saturn V's. That's wild. And uh, a lot of this, some of this stuff washed up on the shore uh-huh. uh, several months later, so you're actually able to get little pieces of it. So that is a physical piece of that rocket. Were you on the beach? Uh, you no, I wish. I wish I would have. <laughs> I would have had to have had a dump truck because I would have been picking up lots of it. Oh my gosh! I mean, we're two for two right now in the cool fact. Right. And there's three pieces in each. Each one gets three pieces. All right, last one, final one. What could it possibly Ooh, be? Ooh, this a is a Civil War bullet from oh the Civil War. Oh my gosh! Fifty dollars? Yes, sir. Man, oh man, that is really cool. Yeah. And I mean, the little these cards are plastic. They're, yeah, think about it like a almost like a hotel key card is the same yeah. consistency. And it's, it, it's not some just some chintzy paper no, thing, no. That, which is really cool, man. And each one comes with its own card, uh, which, uh, like I said, on the back tells you all information about why it's historical, why we decided to choose that particular piece rather than something yeah. else. I think you're really onto something here, my friend. We've been work- we've been working really hard on this for several months now. Today yeah. It was kind of an idea, and then we kind of turned it into reality. And uh-huh. today, actually, the funny thing is, today was the day we started packing these up. So okay. Perfect this timing. This is the first batch. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, I'm gonna grab one now. Okay. Yeah. Uh oh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna go for the one that I like. Oh, I like, I like this one. Let's okay. go right here. All right. It was hiding in the corner. This really checks a lot of boxes for us coin nerds. Uh, you know, you like the history, but you always kind of wonder, like, whose hands was this coin in? And you'll never know the answer to that. This is some pieces of history that there's a story and there's a lineage and, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that is why we did this like this. We... we like I said, this really ticks a lot of boxes for me, too, because I'm kind of a nerd, uh-huh. and uh, especially a history nerd. Mm-hmm. So All right, let's, let's see, see what we got. I got another fragment of the starship okay. in mine. There you go. Different right. sized piece. Number one. Oh, there's a slab in mine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, ooh, here's a cool piece. These are Japanese bar money. Oh, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, when we did the hundred dollar coin shop challenge, I think yeah, Jack put one of these in his pile, and it took him over the top because yeah. I really, really thought this was cool. And then man, you even add a samurai. I mean, yeah. like you guys put a lot of thought and effort into these. Yeah, like I said, it's it's been a process. Uh-huh. We, before, we, before we continue, let me ask you a question: How if somebody is like wowed right now and says, "I don't need to see anymore," how do I buy these? What do they do? You go to your website. We, we have a whole awesome in. website, historybags.com. You can go and order them right now. Okay. Uh, we have a limited amount up there at the moment, um, and the quantities are limited because we only have so much stuff. Okay. Uh, we're going to make as many bags as we can get to uh-huh. with a limit of 1,000 bags. I really like the entry level at 50 bucks because, you know, anybody could save about 50 bucks and buy something like this. And, these and would be- like I said, I want I want people to get their value, their money's worth yeah. out of it. And then last but not least, there is a slabbed ancient coin in here. Oh, cool. Uh, a Constance uh, AE4 from 337 to 350 AD. Man, that's awesome. I mean, this alone is... A lot of people would pay fifty dollars just for this because it's slabbed and it's got the provenance and all that stuff. Very cool, man. That is awesome. So now, my friend, it's your turn. Oh boy, oh boy. 
All right, I already see the one I want. Okay. It's uh, far left, far bottom, right. right by your, uh, no, closer to you, underneath that one. Yep. All right. Are you, I, I saw you felt it there just to just kind of get an idea. Just to get an idea. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. All right, here we go. Uh, I feel like I'm doing one of those vault box, but I'm not, uh, you know, Gonna be to, gonna be sad when it's over. Well, I'm not having to, <laughs> not having to get a second mortgage for my house in order to uh, make that happen because those things are expensive. Yes, they are. And that's what kind of prevented me from getting one all along. But uh, here we go. All right, got the little oh, black it's a velvet. small guy. It's kind of light. Yeah, this is a little one. Let's all see. Right, let's see. First card. Another wire money. Okay, wire money. Uh, I was intrigued by that earlier. I'm glad I got one of those. Yeah. And let's see, another card. Ooh, look Ooh, that's at that. one we haven't seen yet. Ooh, a Constantine the Great. Take a look at that. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, because a lot of times these uh, ancient coins are just like worn to heck, and you can't make anything of you know what the images are. And that's a nice piece, right? I mean, to think we're talking about a piece that's almost. Yeah. 2,000 years old. We or, definitely tried not to skimp on quality. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. This is wild, man. Yep. The Berlin Wall. It's actually got some purple graffiti on it. And you match that to to the uh, the text here. Uh, that is actually, out of the Berlin Wall pieces, that was one of my favorite ones. Man. We had several hundred of them okay. uh, that we put together for this. To yeah. 1989, I was still in high school. Everybody was watching this on TV. Yeah. It, you know, as Mr. Gorbachev knocked down that wall. And Mr. Gorbachev teared down this wall. And you know, Ronald Reagan, the whole nostalgia, it all comes uh, flooding back. Yeah. How cool is that? I never thought in my life I would ever own a, a hunk of the piece Berlin Wall. Of the Berlin Wall. Wow. I can only imagine the sourcing for this stuff uh, must be kind of fun in itself. Finding pieces—it's an adventure. Like I said, I want to—I I had to make sure that I was getting this place, this stuff from reputable sources because yeah. obviously I don't want it to be anything but exactly what I say it is. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff, uh, the non-numismatic stuff, I have COAs uh, uh -huh. from the companies I bought them from, or. Um, you know other other agencies that issued them for those pieces, but yeah, uh -huh. this is uh, what this is my pet project. I've been kind of working on. So you're the first ones to see it. Actually. Oh my gosh, we've got a yeah. uh, a big reveal here. And honestly, when we talked about me coming to shoot a video here, we were talking about those graded slabs. Right. This is a really pleasant surprise. And congratulations on a a really great idea. But you know what? Lots of people have great ideas. That's right. But following through on it and coming up with something this cool is uh, really impressive. So, I, hey, I'm happy for you. I'm proud of you, too, my friend, uh, because I think you're onto something here. Well, I appreciate that, and I hope people enjoy them just as much as we enjoyed putting them together. All righty. Thank you, my friend. All right, buddy. Thank you.